Welcome back to Movie Reviews by Movie Lovers. Today we are doing Harry Potter uh, the Prisoner and the Prisoner of Azkaban. It's rated PG. Sorry. I never seem to be able to talk in these things. <laughs> we'll get more practice. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, like we've done before, we're doing the shorter version first, and then we're getting into the movie with spoilers. <laughs> I'm having fun with that. <laughs> All right, well, with this one, I don't know what we're going to say. Uh, well, I guess three? Four for me. We'll stick with four for both of us. They're all pretty good. The first ones are a little better, but I we'll explain why later. Actually, no, I can do this here without doing spoilers. Uh, different Dumbledore. Um, I prefer the old Dumbledore. Kinder, softer, I think more closer to the books. Yeah, but sadly he passed away before any others could be made. Yeah. But who they picked actually worked as the movie progressed. So, uh, I, it's okay. I don't think there's anything else to add for the shorter time. Do you have anything? Hmm. There is some comedy. Yeah. And a punching scene. <laughs> That one was deserved. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're getting into the um, spoilers. Yeah, I think so. All righty then. I guess spoilers. <laughs> uh, but not many people should leave. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen Harry Potter. Yeah, there's people who want to go see what it's about. If you're doing this for school, go watch it yourself. <laughs> yeah, we're not giving you a cheat of shortcut. Yeah, you go read the book. Book's better anyways. Yeah, I mean, we even have a sign that says that. <laughs> All right, I think we've given them enough time. <laughs> I think so, too. All right, so with this, um, would have to say I'm going to start off with the writing. So it's PG, right? This is a PG-13. This one's darker. The first two, fine where they are. And we'll get into those because we, we will do those reviews soon. Um, no. No. Not what it's rated. Because <laughs> um, with the, uh, what are they? The Dementors. The mentors. Like, they suck out the soul. I mean, that. And there's a scene where it basically is almost like that. And it's close to the end. You know, it's also one of my favorite scenes because Harry finds his strength. And it also shows, and I love also the parts where the friendship is building. You know, you've got the three of them carrying on Harry, Ron, and Hermione. And you can kind of see that their friendship is blossoming even more. And of course, at the beginning of this, or was it the beginning, of, last of this last one, or the beginning of this one, you see more of Ron's kind of going for Hermione. I don't know. I don't know. You see it almost every movie except for the first one. Yeah. Yeah. I just like the bit where <laughs> she decks Draco. <laughs> And also where Ron is dreaming. And he wakes up just going, Spiders! Spiders! They're trying to make me do something. I can't remember what it was. Dance, I think. And you're, they're trying to... And, and Harry basically goes, you, you, go, you go tell them you don't want to do it. Kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I will have to tell you this. I've come, I'm coming into these movies um, at an older age because you know I, wrote, I was raised in a family where these movies weren't looked kind upon. Of That's fine. As soon as I turned... You know, 18, my mom said, you watch whatever you want to watch. <laughs> yeah, and I saw, I'm pretty sure, all the Harry Potter movies in theaters. Yeah, where I never did. Um, but uh, once you I missed find... out, they were awesome in theaters. I was raised in a family where we didn't look at these movies very kindly. But that's fine. <laughs> no, as I, I got older, I realized that there's really nothing to worry about. Um, but to each their own. Um, but yeah, I, I like these. And I've never read the books, and I get information from her every so often that fills in the gaps that these movies don't have. Um, like, the ending of this movie is very wrong. But, I mean, <sighs> movies are quite different from the original one. Except for, I would have to say, The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings. They're pretty damn close. <laughs> I mean, I've it, it's all if you've read the stuff. I mean... We can mention a lot of mo books that we've read, and then the movies that we've watched are completely different. But, you know, they can't fit, you know, three, four hours of a movie into 
this. You know, a book into this. You know, books are different. They always give more detail. Plus, you're left for your own imagination. Yeah, that's true. But it still would have been better if they had kept the ending different. Yeah. Maybe she didn't want that. I know she was a part of these, but I don't know how much she had to say for it. But, uh, altogether, I mean, if you if you don't read the books, yeah. It's a pretty good movie. You can still watch these movies and understand what's going on. Now, that's, that's a good movie to have. And there's a lot like that out there. I don't know if there's anything else to say. I don't think so. Well, we'll have more to say later, because we, we're going to watch every single one of them. <laughs> So, well, I think that's it for this one. So, come back later for the next review. Bye! Bye.